For this project, you'll need shaving cream, a ruler, paper plate, food coloring, and some blank paper. One. Hey, it's Mr. K, and today I'm going to show you a cool little science experiment. It's going to be um, some tie-dyed index cards or marbled paper. This is really cool for some arts and crafts projects. I think you're really going to like it. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is spray uh, a layer of shaving cream on your plate. You kind of be liberal with it. Get a good pile right there. And then we're going to start adding our food coloring. And I'm going to add about four or five drops of each different color. That was green. Then I'll add some red. The yellow doesn't show up that well on the paper, but I'll go ahead and add it anyway. And a couple drops of blue. <clears throat> Alright, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to kind of just swirl a pencil or a um, I'm using a wooden dowel and just kind of swirl it through here to make some swirly lines in your shaving cream. If you swirl it too much, it's not going to come out good on the paper. You really want to have the lines um, visible before you put the paper down. This is going to be a really cool one right here, I believe. All right, once we have our swirls and the design that we want to use on our paper, you just take the paper, whether it be an index card, a piece of origami paper, even a piece of regular white paper like I have here, and lay it face down onto the shaving cream. Now what you're going to want to do is press this down pretty good to make sure that all of the front side of the paper gets coated. Okay. And press it down. You can use this pile of shaving cream about four or five different pieces of paper. So, once it's all coated, you peel it back, move our shaving cream pile out of the way, put this down on the ground, and now we have a piece of paper with your shaving cream and food coloring on there. Then you'll take a straight edge, hold one corner of the paper, and this is where you get the really cool aha moment. You just scrape the shaving cream straight off. Okay, and there you have your marbled or tie-dyed paper. Um, the food coloring adheres right to the paper. I can run my finger across it. It's not going to bleed. It's not going to, um, you know, really mess up as you touch it. And you have a really cool piece of paper that you can do all kinds of different things with. Art projects, you could make origami out of it. I've seen name tags be used from it, but I think kids really like this and I think uh, you could come up with a lot of really cool stuff to do on your own with it. This is a really cool project and I think that you guys will really like uh, tie-dye paper. You can do all kinds of really neat things with it. If you want to check out more of my Cool Science Demos, you can go to the website CoolScienceDemos.com. You can also check us out on YouTube. It's YouTube.com slash CoolScienceDemos. We're also on the social networks, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, all the good stuff. Take care.